For the next two hours, this the stream is sponsored by Amber Isle. Um, a little bit about Amber Isle is it just came out. It came out October 10th. So if you guys would like to get it on Steam, it's currently $24.99. Um, look at the reviews, they're so positive, but look how cute! Here, just quick, quick glance. The cute little dinos. <laughs> Here, let's watch the, actually, let's watch the trailer before we play and dive in. So we're basically, it's a cute little uh, prehistoric dino themed area where we can like build and craft and upgrade shops and sell items and talk to all the little villagers. This should be really fun. I love this. But yes, this game is out now if you guys would like to try it out. Exclamation mark Amber, Amber Isle. Please use my link if you'd like to get to the Steam page. I, I also have a little panel down below my stream that you can click as well if you'd like. Oh my god, this is so cute! See, like we can set up our own shop. Look at it! And we can clean. <laughs> it's dynamite. Stop, Kevin. You're so cute, Luna Jonah. Thank you. Cute coffee cups are absolutely a corporate girly thing. It is. 100% must have. Anyways, that's just like a little synopsis. I kind of just wanted to dive right in and um, show you guys. Team 17 is the publisher and the developer is Amber Tail Games. I don't know if this is the first game they've done. Oh, they've done several other games too, but. Amber Isle, here we go. Let's boot it up. Let me make sure that. Did my category everything set right, guys? Excuse me, if y'all could double check for me, I'd appreciate it. All right, let's jump in. Ooh, let's play this cute game. Sorry, no hiccups. <laughs> It's um a little loud. <laughs> mm. Um, my bad. Sorry, I didn't realize it was gonna be that loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I turned it down. We should be good, but ow. <laughs> sorry, didn't realize it was gonna be that loud. Let me go into the settings and manually do it. Rise and shine if you're not awake by now. <laughs> God. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Ah. All right, let's just crank that bad boy to uh, one. Maybe that's a little too quiet now. It is okay. I wasn't sure. <laughs> okay. Is that better? Is that good? For oh, it's like a nice... Is that better? <laughs> they don't have ears. Oh yeah, they don't have... Dinosaurs don't have external ears, do they? I should have known this. I took a dinosaur class in college. Um, uh, what else do they have? I could use my mouse or, um, my other stuff. Oh, hi, Sydney. Thank you for the raid. Hi, guys. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I think this is good. Is the volume good now? Hi. <laughs> Always sloths your theme. That's so cute. Welcome in, everybody. We're doing a sponsored stream for a new game called Amber Isle. If y'all would like to get more information, exclamation mark Amber Isle is the command. Hi. Oh, you, you've just been playing it? Okay, well, this is going to be my first intro into it. So I'm happy y'all are here. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you for reading. I hope y'all have been having a fun time with Amber Isle. All right, let's start a new gameplay, though. New save. What kind of dinosaur should I be? Um, I don't know. Oh, the big day has finally arrived. 
He has a little toast in his mouth. Every year, young paleo folk like you set out on their paleo venture. A rite of passage in which you explore the world, make new friends, and discover who you really are. Each paleo venture is as unique as the folk it's undertaken by. Will you create something beautiful, inspire other paleo folk, become rich beyond your wildest dreams? I hope so. Some folk go out and find their calling, but maybe your calling will end up finding you. Only time will tell. Eventually, you'll earn your very own Sar name, a title which reflects your place in the world. Sar name? Who knows what yours may be, or will your adventures may, or where your adventures may take you? Each step you take is the farthest you've ever been from home, and the closest I've. It'll be your turn to board the hot air balloon next. Better have that passport at the ready. I read slow. Ah! Oh, this is so cute. <laughs> did. <laughs> I did. It was for like a science credit. Oh my god! Wait, they're so cute! <gasps> this one has floppy ears! Look at how the ears move! Oh, this one is so cute too! Um, I don't know. Oh my gosh, you can change the shape. Okay, so this is just the body. Um, let's see. What kind of tail do I want? I kind of like this one. I like the spikes right here. Or do I want a longer tail? I think I want this. I want this one. All right. Oh, what is this? Oh, are these like custom? Oh! Oh! Oh, that one's so colorful. Oh, there's more pages? Ah! <laughs> Wait, what? They're nice for seeing the potential. Yeah. I think I want to start off my own base though. Oh, oh, it changed the color, but it's okay. All right, what kind of, what kind of head? What kind of head we feeling? Ooh, that one's cute. I think I want this one. I forgot what this kind of dinosaur is. Somebody please tell me. Character customizer. We have to choose our dino. Oh, wait, I can choose the eyes? <gasps> oh, wait, I don't think this is doing anything. Oh, I have to choose the color. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, um. Uh, let's just do blue. Do like a light blue, like my eyes. You can even adjust it. Oh. Okay, and then this is just like the white. I think I wanna leave that alone. And this is like the outer rim. Cool. I don't know, I don't know what colors I wanna do yet. Wait, what? Oh, this is like a dot. Here, cancel. How do I cancel? Okay, whatever. We have a dot. <gasps> oh, I guess my head, the head I chose, it means I can't do these options. We can have like different fangs. <laughs> what is this? Oh, you can have little, oh, here's ears. <laughs> no, I don't want ears. What is this? Oh, eyebrows? No eyebrows. I already have eyebrows. What is this? Oh! Oh, I like that. I like that. What is this? Oh, no, I don't want that. Okay. I, I want to change, like, the col these colors, but I don't know how to make it. How do we get rid of it? Well, I guess it makes it really unique. Oh, here's the colors. Oh, we'll do that next. What is this? Are these our arms? Okay, what kind of arms? Disposable thumbs are always nice. I like this one. This makes it look more friendly. Like, I only have one claw. It's so cool that all of them have the same base shape. <laughs> it does! Dispo- In- Did I say disposable? Um, well, that's not what I 
meant to say. Disposable. <laughs> disposable. Did I really say disposable? That's funny. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's the spikes. Oh, I want these. I don't know what color I want to go for though. What kind of colored dinosaur are we feeling? Oh, this is the belly. <gasps> um, okay. Let's see. I like these. I like this. Wait, what's the difference between this and this? Just a different color, but can't we change the color? Where's yellow? I want to do like a, um, no. Let's be green. Like a light green and then confirm. And then there's secondary. Um, no, I want to, I want like a, yeah, I think, I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. What is this one? No. How do we change the stripes? Are these the stripes? All selected. <laughs> She drops her thumbs when she gets scared. <laughs> That's what my dinosaur is. I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. I want to go back to a preset and then fix a preset because I'm not liking mine. Wait, that's so cute. Dinosaur to me though, so no. I want this one. I'm gonna go back to this. This is what I want. But I just want to change the color. I want to change the eyes. How do I change the eyes? Here we go. Let's make the eyes match. Okay, and then this would be like a pale green. I like the I like the cream and pale green. Um, I wanted, there was one little thing that I wanted though. Where was that? Was it here? Yeah. But how do I make it match this color? Because I don't know what color that is. Does that match? Maybe like a little bit lighter? There we go. <laughs> you can see which color is selected when you go to the skin. Oh yeah, you're right. Um, let's change his hands to ah, to the disposable thumbs. Um, thanks, tree. And then he has no. I want these. Or wait. Or do I want those? I like it looks like little freckles too bad I can't give like my little dinosaur a little pretty eyelashes are eyelashes not not a thing I really like these colors though they did good with the color oh my god we can <gasps> oh oh wait oh I guess maybe we have to unlock those What outfit should I do? Oh, look at the little bow tie, or the tie, bow tie, tie. Look at the outfits. Oh. That one kind of blends in too much. <laughs> oh my God, that one's cute. Oh, I like 
like this one. Oh, that one's cute too. Oh, there's more. Oh my god, it's a little hoodie. <laughs> oh, it's a little vest. Oh, it's so proper. Oh my god, look at the the hit the bone. <laughs> what an established. Oh, there's a little bug. <gasps> This one matches really well. Should I do this one? Oh, the, oh, I like this one. I feel like this works really well. This looks so cute. There's the earrings. Oh my god, I can have bone earrings. <laughs> oh. Or moon. I like the moon. Or the flowers. <laughs> Wait, is there more? Oh, no, no, there's just that. Got little hoop earrings. I like the moons. I'm gonna do the moons. Though they look a little weird because we don't. I don't have ears. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't because I don't have any ears. <laughs> should, I, should I make them have ears? Where are the ears? These were the ears, weren't they? No. Here. That was an ear? No, those. Where were they? These. Should I get these just so I can have earrings? Wait, what? Oh, maybe there's... Okay, no. I take it back, no. No ears. And no earrings. <laughs> I think, yeah, I think you're right. They're just spikes. Okay, so this... Okay, what do we, what do we think? Oh my god, he's really cute. Okay. Okay, start. Yes, I'm happy. Uh, what's my dinosaur name? Um, what's a good dinosaur name? What's a good dinosaur name? Kylor? <laughs> Kylor? A dino! Kyliopa? <laughs> I'm gonna do Ky Kylor. Oh, last kid lad. I'll be last. Kylor last. Ky Ky Should I do A U R or U Oh U R <laughs> Oh, Kylor Dawn. Wait, that sounds so fancy. Kylor Dawn. Oh my God. I like this one. Let's do this one. Kylor Dawn. <laughs> wow, you're all dressed up, ready to go. What a great start to the first day of your new life. Isn't the weather great up here in the balloon? It must be the most free you've ever felt. Oh look, we're passing over an island right now. I wonder what type of folk make it make it at make it a home what's that town below it's charming little cottage looks like it's been it's seen better days hey don't lean too far overboard or you'll <gasps> perfect i'm gonna go i'm gonna fall right into my perfect little dream cottage what is this are you okay hey wake up oh good you're alive can you walk last I don't know, can I? Okay, this is so cute. Okay, hold on, let me fix my camera. What is this game? Estimation Mark Amber Isle. It's kind of like, I don't know, like a life sim style S game. It seems like we can do a lot. We're gonna, I'm still new to it, so I'm trying to learn what all we can do in the game, but Estimation Mark Amber Isle, if you'd like to do some quick research yourself. Let me scoot this over just a little bit. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Falling with style. Okay, I have to move around. Oh, look at me go. Oh, what's this? Oh, all right. All right, very good. Now, why don't you kindly w walk yourself out of my village? Mayor! Clawsworth, you can't be serious. Oh, yes, you're quite right. What was I thinking? Firstly, you can repay us for all the damage you've wrought. Oh, darn it, I'm still in the way. 
There we go. That's better. <laughs> Aaliyah <Leoplord on. laughs> Judging from the shambles you've left the shop in, you're in a debt of roughly 50,000 orange gems. We're already in debt. Why do we have to land here? <laughs> we, we already just started. We're already in debt. No. I can't afford that. Stop playing games, you bone brain. They just fell from space. They could re be really hurt. Yeah. This mayor is not very nice. Your crabby pants, man. Crabby claws. <laughs> enough with this nonsense. We just saved enough... Oh, Amber. To get the shop... Re Amber! Oh, I love it. Uh, the To get the shop renovated. And now there's a massive hole in the roof. This is going to ruin us. Amber Isle cannot afford this. So what exactly do you suggest we do, Maple? We're going to fix this. There's nothing that a few pairs of hands and some stubbornness can fix. Can't fix. I like the way they sound. Like you always used to say, right, Mayor? Very well. I don't care how, but when I wake up in the morning, this roof better be good as new. Good day. All right. The old fart. Uh, sorry about him. He had a lot on his plate. Um, so you're not seriously injured or anything, right? This character is so cute. Okay, phew. So, what happened to you? You fell from a balloon? On day one of your paleo adventure? That's awful. Well, don't worry about a thing. I'm gonna help you out, out of this mess. Oh, yeah, I'm Maple Swiftwing. By the way, Amber Isle's best and only courier. Aww. They do, Lulu. He's a crappy sore. He is. Crabby sore. Uh, what was your name again? Kyle Lordon. <laughs> That's a memorable name. Memorable. Okay. <laughs> Let's fix this room. <laughs> is that her way of saying that she doesn't like my name? Let's gather up that wood over there. I'll stay here and guard the hole. Maybe I should have done Kylor. So I met the mayor. And I met Maple. Okay, let's just pick up these little pieces. Ooh, let's see. What's behind the counter? I can't do that. Oh, I can't do that either. Okay, what about in here? Oh, okay. Alright, I'm just... I'm in... Taking an adventure. Okay, here we go. Thanks. Now for the fun part. Crafting. Making stuff. See that crafting table over there? It's pretty old and busted, but I'm sure we can still use it. Okay, let's go craft. All we need is some wood planks. I've made this before. Easy peasy. Now, this, will, this may be a little advanced, so I can do the crafting bit for you. Um, okay. Or I guess you can do it. <laughs> Is that all we needed? Okay. Oh, we got a carpenter, an artisan, a scribe, gardener, musician, chef, stylist. There's a lot of things we can do or craft. What the heck? Paleo Venture is what I call it when I try to diet. <laughs> Nice. Give those planks here and I'll fly up and fix it for you. That looks perfect. Clawsworth will be so relieved. Hey, you really made this that look effortless. Are you secretly a master crafter or something? Um, I have no idea how I did that. <laughs> so you either, you're either a crafting prodigy or just beginner's luck. Hold on, is that what I think it is? No way, this is a shopkeep journal. Why would the shop old shopkeeper just leave one of these behind? Well, whatever. Let's check out the recipes. Why don't you hold why don't you hold it? You have bigger claws than me. I got it. Press tab to open the journal. Go on, flip through the pages. These are where the recipes would be. Oh, I guess these have all been lost too. 
Okay, so I have to like get all of the recipes later. Wait, no way! Open up that recipe. Oh, it's a basket. It's a woven basket. My trusty old basket broke on today's delivery run. I was going to buy one of these tomorrow, no joke. What does the recipe require? One wood, huh? This must be a sign. We have exactly one wood left over. Okay. Why don't you try and craft a basket? You know, just to make sure earlier wasn't a fluke. Oh, okay. Let's make a basket for her. Craft. Does this, is this how much this sells for? Or is this how much I'm spending to make it? Probably how much it sells for, right? <laughs> how convenient! <laughs> I love tutorials. Okay, here we go. I guess I have to stand, yeah, I have to stand in a yellow circle to talk to them. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Just look at it. Thank you. I love it. I know it's not much, but please take this. Oh, she gave me money. All right, it's way past my bedtime. Oh gosh, she must be exhausted too. There's an old bedroom back there. Let me show you. So wait, is this, is this like mine? Is this gonna be my place? This is, seems like an area where we would sell things, you know? And this is like where we craft and do all the other things. Oh, okay. And then maybe we can, <gasps> Then we can decorate my little, oh, look at my room. Oh, look at, is that a TV? It's not glamorous, but better than sleeping on the floor. Um, by the way, it was nice meeting you today. This is the most exciting thing that's happened here in Amber Isle since, well, I can't even remember. It can get pretty boring here since no one's around. Anyway, thanks again for the woven basket. Get some rest for now and I'll check on you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Sleep till morning. Investigate the knock at the door. Hmm. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> I wonder what I can make. I can only make baskets right now. Maybe I can just make some baskets and then sell it. Oh, huh. there you are. Making yourself at home, eh? Well, at least Maple was telling the truth. You really did patch this up. Hey, I'm almost right most of the time. Look how she runs. <laughs> I'm glad you're still here. Guess what? I just took that woven basket out on my morning delivery route. It was perfect. Everyone was asking me where I got it, so I thought, so I think they're totally jealous. Oh, we just gotta sell more. I told them if they want any more info that they can come here to get it. Oh. All good, Mac. By the way, guys, estimation mark Amber Isle. Um, if you would like to get more information, this game did come out very recently. Um, wait until they hear you're only here temporarily. Um, I should start charging for my marketing services. Really, Maple? There's demand for their work? I mean, yeah, check out the basket for yourself. That is a nice basket. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Anyway, credit where credit is due, lass. You kept your word. But that's all said and done. You still destroyed Amber Isle property. This is a historical building, you know. Not to mention trespassing here to begin with. The damage may be fixed, but you've broken several Amber Isle laws. What is with this guy? So crabby and mean. He's not a very good mayor. I should... We should be mayor. Let's have a vote. <laughs> I'm faced with no option but to, fi to issue a, you a fine of 500... What? However, it's clear that you haven't the amber to pay for this. You say you lost your wallet when you fell from a balloon at the start of your paleo venture. That's all the excuse in the book. It's all rather shady if you ask me and I will not allow squatters in my village. 
So I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Oh. 500k? Oh my god, look at. <laughs> look at him! Hey, <laughs> so cute. Oh my god, look at his little. Oh my god, that's cute. Oh great, here comes Mr. Bureaucracy. Did I hear an argument happening? I can finally put that course on conflict resolution to good use. Ah, Orb Corp. <laughs> I see you found a new shopkeeper already, Mayor Clausworth. Well done. What? I don't need you to tell me what I've done well, you, you. Walking roll of red tape. Why is this guy so mean? Calling him, yeah, he's <laughs> calling everybody names. <laughs> Lulu, no. <laughs> um, oh, okay, oh, okay. And anyway, this troublemaker is no such thing. Where you see trouble, I see an opportunity. Hi, I'm Addie, and you are oh, still working on your sword name, then, just like me. But not for long, as an intern. In turn, at Orb Corp, I've been sent here to revitalize Amber Isle. Hey, twinsies! <laughs> In turn, you must know Orb Corp, keeping you the center of our orbit. You know, the company that has their claw in every mud pie to make our lives faster, cleaner, and easier. I was making my usual mild coffee, asking pertinent questions, offering lots of handy hints to my bosses about their spelling and grammar issues when I was trusted to travel 10,000 miles away with one goal, to restore the beautiful Amber Isle to its former glory. <laughs> Internship. <laughs> I feel like that's a cute coincidence. Uh, we don't need your help, or anyone's for that matter. Haven't you lot done enough meddling? Ah, oh, yes. It can be very hard to ask for help. Anyway, when can I expect you to be open for business? Please say soon. I would just love to include you in my first report. Have you got moss in your ears, lad? I said no. Besides, there's no there nothing but an untrustworthy hooligan who owes the island 500,000 amber in penalties. Should I give him my disposable thumb? Um, I'm still the mayor of Amber Isle and you crooks can't force me to have another one of your kind to run this place. Look, mayor, it's going to take a lot of work to restore Amber Isle. All the residents, artisans, merchants, everyone is gone. And in their place, empty buildings, debris, and dust. I've done my research. I know how incredible Amber Isle used to be. It could be it could be like that again, but we're going to need all the help we can get. So, a crafting prodigy on Paleo Venture Falls from the sky straight into our village, and you want to kick him out? Think about it. This is a win-win for us all. Why don't I like this? This is good. Good intern, right? I hope I hope to Role model right here. Role model. <laughs> Why don't we let good, uh, remind me? Kyloridon. Kyloridon, complete this paleo venture here on Amber Isle. In return, they can repay those penalties by helping bring folks back to the island. I vote yes to this plan. Can, do we get to choose who can come to our island? Or can we say, like, no? Like, you don't have enough spikes, or you aren't uh, an artisan. We need artisans, so get out of here. <laughs> Scram. But then we'd be like the mayor. So never mind. Everybody's welcome. Maybe. Uh, except meat eaters. No, I'm <laughs> They're all meat eaters. And what do you... Well, I think, I think my character... My dinosaur might not be. I honestly don't know. Spikeless discrimination. And what do you have to say? Do you believe you really have the skills to run a shop? I won't let you down, Mayor. Huh. Here's the deal. If you can prove that you're really as skilled as everyone claims, I'll let you stay here for your paleo adventure. You know, they're probably the reason why all the villagers are gone is because of this mayor. So I say first step, new mayor. New mayor. 
and then everybody else will come back and be happy and live here again so first government coup <laughs> no <Lulu. laughs> however you'll have to seriously impress me by making at least 20k in shop sales and then we'll talk 20k it's not like we have much left to lose at this rate anyway okay since this was your idea, it will be your responsibility to help Kylo Don get the shop ready for our customers today. Sir, it's not strictly your role to give me tasks. I'm more of an advisor to... Magnificent. Good day, all. His meanness is rubbing off. Turn that mayor into oil. Oh! We could. <laughs> God. That's so mean. Sigh, it looks like I'm being walked over by the locals just as much as my co-workers. Oh, well, whatever it takes to get this place back in shape, eh, Koi Lord on? <laughs> We're muting. Woo, I have no idea how this has happened, but it looks like you're sticking around for a bit longer. Oh my goodness, Mabel, could this really be it? Oh, I love how she walks. She little flaps her little her little wings. Aw, look at a little cork board. What do I do now? I leave? Okay. I gotta leave now. This is really stinking cute though. <gasps> Whoa, is this the town? Oh, is that the post office? Oh, look at the town square. I have a little statue. Oh, and there's, there's me. <laughs> Do I have mail? Nobody loves me. Let's talk to them. Well, here it is. This will be your very own shop. Go on, bask in its potential. It does have potential. Grand. I am... The plaza here is the perfect location, smack dab in the middle of Amber Isle. Well, it's technically a few meters south, and then if you take elevation into consideration. Oh my gosh, Addy. Enough words. Time for pictures. Here, have this. Do a map. That's a Maple Original. Go on, open it. M for map. Not only am I Amber Isle's best courier, I, I'm also its best cartographer. Well, it's only cartographer. Shh. Anyway, here you can see your current location and you can move in and out to see more or less of the island. Plus any key buildings. And look, it even shows where Addie and I are. Not sure how it's doing that exactly. Sorry about all this unmarked land. Until those areas are opened up, I can't draw an accurate map of them. But when you discover something new, I'll update it right away. This is cute. Okay, so it shows like where the villagers are. I'm sure that'll be, that'll come in handy. That's so nice of you. Anything beats doing boring old chores. And you had to, oh, and you had to ruin it. Oh yeah. I just remember what I forgot to do today. Gotta go. See ya. <laughs> I love this meta commentary. I know, right? I should have known. Well, uh, unlike Maple, we're actually going to do some work. Which reminds me, I don't have your shop paperwork done yet. Darn, that's going to take me all morning to sort out. Anyway, while I do that, why don't you explore the meadow? It looks like we'll be needing some rustic natural resources to support our local eco-friendly boutique in Atelier. Atelier? How do I say that? What is that? Now, where did I put my notary stamp? Okay, press J to open quest page. Okay, go to Starfall Meadow, and I can, oh, I can track it, okay? All right, Starfall Meadow. Can I change, oh, there we go. Okay, I can see more this way now. Okay, that works out. Okay, let's go to the meadow. <gasps> cool, oh, lots of junk to take care of. 
gather resources from three debris pi piles. Okay. One, two. His music's so happy. Um, pick up three ground items. Okay, one. Does it count if I like pick it up like that? Oh, I guess not. Can we go that way? Oh, I don't think so. Oh, here's something. Okay, there's one piece of wood. I need one more. Oh, here. Okay, talk to Addy in the plaza. Okay, so let's go back. So the, I guess, so the meadow is like where we get. Oh, I probably should have grabbed everything, <laughs> shouldn't I? I didn't know if it wanted me to like come back and like get more. It's fine. There you are. It's It really did take all morning to get your paperwork ready. I can't believe it's afternoon already. What? Doesn't time just fly when you're having fun? That's true. Be careful you don't lose track of time though. Each activity like crafting, gathering, and opening the shop will cost a chunk of time. Oh, okay. All right, good to know. I wonder if you pass out after like a certain time at night. Don't know if stuff respawns or anything. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh yes, how did the resource gathering go? It looks like you got everything you needed in record time. It's good to see a fellow efficient worker bee. Seeing all our tasks getting ticked off so is so inspiring, isn't it? <gasps> I got inspiration. Oh boy, I can't feel an Addy brain blast. I can feel an Addy brain blast coming on. What is that? Press Z to open inspiration menu. Okay, that's cute. <gasps> is this like a skill tree? Here you can track your progress and achievements on Amber Isle. The more you complete, the more inspired you'll become. Inspiration can, can make you think of all sorts of things like upgrades, efficiencies, and even new recipes. All your recipes go here, organized into seven possible disciplines you can master. There are artisan, carpenter, chef, gardener. I want to be a gardener. I want to be a cute little dinosaur gardener. <laughs> uh, or a musician. Scry or a stylist. Hmm. For now, why don't you try your hand at one of them? I don't know which one. I guess we can look. All right, this is artisan. So we can make, I'm guessing, Crayons? That looks like a fence. A stamper. Interesting. Oh look, you can see, you can see like everything that you can make. Oh my God, it's called a bit sketchy. Wait, where was that? Um, carpenter. So rugs, towels. Oh, a forget-me-not frame. Is that a toilet? What was that? A toilet! A chef. Okay, so chef would make like, okay. <gasps> it's a little tea set. What about a gardener? Oh, wait, these are cute. A scribe. I feel like a carpenter would be really good so we can decorate our shop. And then maybe that would make more people come and buy from our shop. You know? Right, Jai? Did that say weenie washies? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, and this is the stylish thing. Oh, it's a satchel. <gasps> I paint... Feather flouncer. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. There's so many, there's so many things. A rump rest? Is that just a seat? <laughs> what about... Where's that rug? <gasps> or a whistle? Samba shakers? A xylophone? I don't know. 
Let's do this, because I know I have... Let's do this one. Oh, I have to hold E. Or press E? Oh, I don't have enough. Oh. Oh, but I have enough for this. Here, let's do this one. Okay. Jacket dangler. Okay. I see, I see. That seems to have done the trick. Well, let's use that brand new knowledge to restock your shop. Speaking of which, let's give this paperwork the ceremony it deserves. Follow me. A ceremony? This won't be official until the mayor signs it, but it's my first property contract, do you mind? Grand! Then, as an Orcorp trained notary, Kyler Don, pursuant to Article 6.1b of the Amber Io Municipal Court Code, as regards blah blah blah, I hereby officially bestow upon you the keys to a. Uh, what's your shop called? Hmm. What's a. Hmm. What's my shop called? Hold on, I want to make sure this posted. Okay, it did. Um. I guess I can sell like anything, right? What about, oh, what about like, um, prehistoric picks, the pee pee, or the, uh, the dino, the dino den, mayor overthrow <laughs> corporation. <gasps> what about paleo paradise? Because it's a paradise for... Oh, name it Fossil! No! Wait, yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait, yeah. That's funny. <laughs> I love it. It's perfect. I can't wait to buy your belts. Thanks. I hope you come very often. Sounds like somewhere you'd go to get a good deal. Well, it's the moment of truth. Time to get Fossil ready for business. Time to get it ready for business. Go inside. Wait, that is so funny. That works out perfect. <laughs> Can I actually create watches and then we sell? Yeah. All right, here we go. As you can see, the shop is pretty empty right now, but the best way to fill it is to make things to sell. It's almost like we gather some resources beforehand just for this very moment. Well, show me what you got. Okay, what can I... I think I can only make... Oh! Why don't you try ca crafting that new recipe? Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay, made it. Should we also make a basket and we can sell the basket? Because she said that they need to come, that if people want to buy her basket, that they would need to come here. So we might as well have had it, like stock on it, right? Wow, you're a crafty machine, but it'll all be for nothing if we can't display them nicely. These here are your display units. You can place your items on here. Cool. Go to your counter and I can show you how to stock your shop. Um, edit the shop. I love this. You can, uh, sundials. <laughs> you can choose anything from here and drop it on your display. Try putting your items on the display. Okay, so we need to like, um, oh, okay. Oh, okay, I have to like click. Okay, so let's sell. This will go here. Okay, and then this will go here. Nice. Nice. Wow, it seems like we can really decorate this place. 
points needed to rank up 54. <gasps> so we do get ranking. So I bet if it looks really nice inside, our ranking is higher. I knew it. Um, okay, now what? Okay. Excellent. Now there's only one thing left to do. Okay, set your prices. Oh. You must do this before you open the shop as once that door opens, you can't change them. Give it a try and then let me know when you're done. You know how, you know, it would be so cute is if they had like Twitch integration and like you can create your dinosaur and like you would come in, your little character would come in, your little dinosaur and buy from me. <laughs> what should I do? Set your prices. Okay. All right, how, what are we feeling? What are we feeling on my woven basket? It's pretty, has a green bow. It's um, trending, so maybe we should make it more expensive. Okay, maybe just a little lower than that. It's in demand, so let's do that. And then the jacket dangler, we'll just make it half. But the basket will be more. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, it says a cellosaurus. <laughs> That's cute. Okay. A grand job. Well, this is your big moment. Time to open fossil and make your first amber. Woohoo! How do I open? How do I open? Open! There we go. <gasps> my shop. And we're open. This is your view of the shop when you're behind the counter. Fun, right? Looks like our first customer's here. Maple! Well, I suppose you count. What? I'm a paying customer. What is she gonna buy? Oh, <gasps> the mayor's here. So what do you think, mayor? Oh no, I should probably have made my prizes cheaper. <laughs> He's gonna be like, this is too expensive here. Hush, child, I'm just here to make sure you aren't selling cheap tat, nothing more. Right, time to show him what you've got. Um, I got a little, uh, the, oh, he bought it! Well, it's good, but it's not great, is it? It will suffice for now, I suppose. <gasps> he bought from me! He's my first customer! Okay, maybe the mayor's not as bad. He's mu He has money. Looks like your price was just right. Great start. Yay. What about you, Maple? You already have one, so I don't really see you buying that. Oh, okay. Never mind. Wait, did you buy it? Or are you running? Are you running away with it? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh no! She wants to haggle. Wait, what? Haggling. Okay. On Amber Isle, if we love an item but not the price, it's time to haggle. You and customers may go back and forth until you agree on a price. Uh. No. I set the price. That was the price. Well, I think my headset's about to die. This is your current asking price. Should I be hearing this part? Try increasing it a good bit. Okay. Oh, more? Offer. Um, that's quite pricey, like ridiculously pricey. Wait, is this a part of the act? Yes. As you can see, this price is far too high. No, it's not! It's perfect! <laughs> Maple, what price would you want to pay for this? No, not good enough. Let's try and reach a middle ground. Okay, there. Or not. What about... Okay, here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's like the highest I can do. <laughs> well, I can't argue with that price. Okay. <laughs> I 
Oh, I like that sound effect. Shop ranking. Well done. Now, pay close attention to this part. After landing a sale, you get a good idea of how it went down. Here you can see that Amber made and friendship gained. Oh, you gained friendship. Well, what are we looking at here? Don't worry about it, Maple. Cheap prices mean more friendship. High prices mean more profits. Both can be useful, but how you run your shop is up to you. Hmm. Well, whatever is going on right now, all I know is that I have an awesome new purchase to go try out. Later. Oh, and good luck. She's sweet. I should have made it cheaper. 884! I don't remember how much I had it for sale. <gasps> nice. Take a break. What do I do now? Don't worry, we only had a few customers today, but that's to be expected. Word will definitely spread. Soon enough, Fossil will be the hot destination for all your shopping needs. I'm sure of it. Speaking of customers, have a look in your shopkeep journal. You should have made a record of everyone on the island you've met so far. Okay. Paleo folk. The more you get to know everyone, the more this page will fill up with useful information. This lists what items a paleo folk likes, and more importantly, what they're likely to buy in the future. Hmm, we're looking a little empty in here. Tell you what, I'll let you in on a secret of mine. I love the scribe discipline. You don't seem surprised. Maybe I look like the type. Okay, so if I sell anything in the scribe category, I get the categories now. Okay. Medium. What does that mean? Like his size? Uh, and carpenter. Oh yeah, size. Medium. I guess I can sell different size clothing as like a stylist or something she's also a medium okay goes to show what he likes though oh look at all of these these aren't unlocked yet ah seeing you start all this shopkeeping reminds me of when i first came to amber isle so young so optimistic so full of dreams of a few weeks ago don't worry, I'm just being dramatic. Orb Corp demands a lot of me, but it's because they care about their mission. They want Amber Isle to be everything. I know it can be. And they think I'm the paleo folk for the job. It looks like it's that time again. We've both done a lot today, so make sure you get your beauty sleep. Now I need to go do all the rest of my work. Sigh. I'm sorry. What do you mean I can't do that? Oh, I had to wait. I guess I had to wait for him to leave my shop. Sleep till morning. Knock, knock. Who is at my door? Oh, good morning. I don't know about you, but I slept like a log last night. A whole four hours. Now I'm ready to take on the day. You'll never guess what's happened. He made me on. <laughs> Maple spotted a boat headed this way. I bet it's just filled with customers. Let's go see. Ooh, go to the plaza. Boat full of customers. Say less. I don't even have, but the thing is I don't have a lot of materials to go and build stuff. Look at how cute. I like the graphics. Oh, look, here's the... Oh, is this the boat? <gasps> so cute! Please, live wait, live here. Oh my god, look! Hoy mateys, is this here Amber Isle? Yes, it is. And you came here on purpose. I mean, that is to say, uh, welcome, what's your name? Coral! <laughs> Coral simmer tide. Find a sailor to have ever sailed the seas. Try saying that one three times fast. You know, I'd never heard of Amber Isle up until recently. Something stirred in the ports about a basket or something. <gasps> but she bought my basket. 
And lo and behold, suddenly we've got a lass one to hop on over. She could barely wait to get off my boat. Although, mostly I'm excited about finding some new ingredients here for my 6C soup. And on that note, you'll have to excuse me, or my broth will be less 6... Will be less 6C soup and more C6 soup. Oh, <laughs> mateys. Wait, that's cute. My basket's already famous. <laughs> Our first visitor, and it sounds like there could be more where she came from. Now, where were we? Ah, oh, yes, gathering resources for fossil. <laughs> what cannot get over that? <laughs> what do you have so far? Wait, did you literally pick these up from digging through garbage and scavenging off the ground? Oh, that's just horrible. Here, courtesy of Orb Corp's welcome pack. These should mean you don't have to do that. Oh, I got a shovel, a scythe, a pickaxe, and an axe. Nice. I wonder what Orb Corp's protocol is for greeting new visitors. Oh, I hope there's name badges. Oh my god, I like the little hearts that appear. Can we romance them? Okay, we don't know what they like, but I'm gonna guess it's something like sailing related. Okay, so this is how we equip my tools. Okay. And then we use. Okay, so let's go to the meadow and get some more supplies. Let's just go crazy and just get everything. I think. Unless we'll we'll see. We'll see. It might it might kind of force me out. What's this? Oh, 15 wood, 15 stone, dirt, collect plant. Okay. Okay, let's see. Um, F. Oh! Aww! Oh. Can I... What about this tree? Okay, not that tree. So it has to be like... Oh, stuff that sparkles, I guess. And then I guess I shovel... Oh. Ooh, I like the sound effects. There's a little campfire up there. How do I gather plants? Are these plants? Maybe this? Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah! Okay. Well, I can just use a tool on that and make it faster. So I have everything except I need some more plants. Should I just keep, should I just keep getting more? Go to the map quest marker. Okay, so let's go over here. Oh. Okay. Oh, it was in the way. What's this? Oh, I guess I can't get it yet. It looks like wheat, though. Eek! Someone help me! Oh! <gasps> so cute! Help them! Okay, I'm coming. Remove the vines. Ooh, and I get all these plants with it. Oh, freedom! Oh my god, look how cute! Hi, Chris! Hi, Icy! Look how cute! Oh, freedom, finally! Ouch! Darn bramble stuck to my foot! Oh gosh, I'm Nelly! Nelly Woodhorn! <laughs> I came here on Coral's boat to visit that new shop. 
Um, but anyway, thank you so much for saving me. I'm a wood merchant by trade. I was hoping to strike up some new business. Maybe see what trees grow here and... Oh gosh, I'm rambling about work and I haven't even asked your name yet. Kyloridon, you're the shopkeeper that I'm here to visit? Oh my gosh, what a terrible first impression. Uh, I'll definitely visit Fossil later. Thanks again for getting me out of a prickly predicament. Ugh, Nelly, that was so lame. No, that was so cute. Look how sweet. So she probably likes carpenter stuff if she's like a wood merchant or whatever. Look at her little cape. All right. What do I, oh, I guess I go back now. Oh, can't see anything. Might as well pick this stuff up. I guess it automatically goes into my inventory. Is it green? It is green. Green's your favorite color. Green is a really pretty color. All right, let's zoom out. All right, to, should I go make some more baskets then since everybody's here for my baskets? Or should I like make something different? Keep them, keep them realizing that it's, you know, rare. You know? I need to like get rid of these like planks and stuff. Um, good to see you again. The, those resources you gathered look grand. You're a fast learner. But what's really inspired me is hearing about you heroically rescuing a visitor. Oh, I can make something new. Maybe we should use this inspiration to learn a new recipe. Um, Z. Okay. Um, what should I make? What about scribe? Because then... Three-toed tidy? What the heck is that? Primordial pencil. Oh, let's do that. Maybe. Okay, they're all a hundred. Let's do the pencil. <laughs> so then he can buy it. Assuming he would. Maybe I should have made something that Nelly would like. Ugh, I don't know. Uh, oh, interesting choice. You're always finding ways to surprise me. Now let's restock this bad boy. Hmm. All right. What is the basket under? The basket that I made? What is that? Un what is that? <gasps> oh, these are goals. We'll probably need to buy at least one of each thing. Yeah, we'll probably do that. I'll just stick to buying like one of each thing. Um, all right. Okay, so this is also carpenter. So let's make, let's make one of these and then we'll make a pencil. And are these ice cubes? Oh no, stone bricks. And then this. And then an, another basket. Why not? All right, so now let's put the items in my shop. Okay. How do I do this? Okay. All right. So one will go here. One here. Pencil here. I don't know if it matters with the order, but I think it's fine. Okay. And then let's set our prices. Um, that's a pretty good pencil. I'm just going to make it. Oh, we're not going to change that. We're going to make that go up a little high, higher. Because he like bought that immediately. So that makes me think that this deserves to be more expensive. This pencil is a pencil, so. Okay, all right, open. Open the shop. All right, let's see who will buy something. <gasps> Are they gonna buy the purse? That's why they came. Please buy the purse. Or the basket. 
Okay, what do you have a question about? Um, hi, you saved me in the meadow earlier. Uh, wait, maybe you don't remember. Anyway, I thought I should come and see if you can recommend me any wood items that are in stock. This is a great learning opportunity. Sometimes Halo folk will ask will ask you to use your shopkeeper knowledge to recommend them items. Pay attention to the key details they ask for and then choose something that fits their requirements. This this has wood. Grand is <laughs> I think, right? I mean, I had to use wood to make it. Um, Grant, it seems like Nellie's interested in your recommendation, but that's only half the battle. It's time to close the sale. Ne offer Nellie a good price and see if she bites. B bite? But, Eddie, I'm a herbivore. I come in peace. Recommend <laughs> Wait, that's so cute. Recommendation sales means customers pay a higher amount and get closer with you. All thanks to your specialist work. How about this? How about that? That's a little unaffordable, isn't it? Um, five, seven, eight. Eight, oh, eight. Price is unfair. All, oh, oh, six, twenty-five. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Will they eventually say no? What about seven? 88. Well, it seems like we can just keep doing this. Here, 758. That seems good. Man, this, she's, she knows how to haggle. There. What? What? She won't, she literally won't go. Here, how about this? How about this? <laughs> oh, it worked! Oh, you don't have to say it if she keeps saying it over and over. Yay! I sold that for a really good price, darn it. Okay, I can I can do that much. Minus friendship. Wait, was there really minus friendship? I didn't pay attention. There were so many things happening. Time for your last customer of the day. No, okay. <laughs> me. For transferring sake, I had an errand I forgot to do today, but I think you can help me. I love to put in a custom order. Essentially, these are just requests for specific items that customers can return for later. This is a typical uh, custom order it looks like. I can come back in two days. Okay. Now, normally you can reject custom orders, but I know you can't say no to me. This will let... <laughs> I know you can't say no to me. This will let me evaluate your shopkeeping skills, but, well, mostly I need this done or I'm toast. Okay. By the way, guys, this is a sponsored stream for Amber Isle. This game did just come out very recently. It came out October 10th. Um, it is on Steam, SMH Mark Amber, Amber Isle, if you'd like to get more information. I also have, um, a little thing about Amber Isle in my, my little panel section, too, that you can click on. Um, except, I only get eight. Thanks, because cus custom orders are specially made. You'll get a sizable amount of Amber, and your customers will feel closer to you. If you fail an order, however, you'll risk alienating your customers. But don't worry, I know you won't let me down. Okay. Well, it's only wood, so that's really easy. She didn't buy anything. That's the whole point is coming to the basket. Oh, wait. She did buy it. I'm a liar. Oh, I just didn't have to haggle. <gasps> she bought the more expensive one. There's one last thing I want to show you today. So meet me in the plaza when you're ready. <gasps> She did, like, both of them are gone. Okay. Wow, I'm making a really good profit. We're already at 3K. We need 20K. Okay. Okay. 
Fancy meeting you here. According to my records, the plaza used to have a lot more in it than it does currently. Now that you're Amber Isle's premier shopkeeper, you're the backbone of the island's economy. With great power comes great responsibility. By funding the refurbishment of the island, you can attract more folk to Amber Isle and get more customers for the shop. Try upgrading something in the plaza to see how it works. Is this the, is this the only thing available? Oh, I think so. Okay, fine. Build the outdoor crafting table. Okay. Oh, I have to hold it down? Oh my god, that's really satisfying. <laughs> it looks like you... I like the sound effect. Looks like you made an outdoor crafting table. Well done. Sometimes it can be a pain to have to return to a crafting bitch in your shop when you're out and about. Well, that pain is solved when you can craft in the great outdoors. There are all sorts of upgrades needed across the island, and in return, your life will be made easier and more efficient. It's always lessons with you, Addy. You know, we're trying to keep our new resident, not bore the last to death. Exactly. What's more than a streamlined, what's more fun than a streamlined process for pro maximum productivity? Yeah, yeah. Tell it to your scrapbook, buddy. Is Mr. Rules and Regulations here done with you? Mr. Rules and... Hey! Working all the time totally blows. Let's kick back. But we... Don't forget, business tenants of Amber Io Plaza are entitled to regular breaks. Village Code Article 191-C. How many breaks have you had since you arrived here? <gasps> oh, yes! You must... You must take your mand mandated rest periods. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! And Maple, try to keep your our new shopkeep in one piece, please. I worry about him, you know. I think if he stops for even a second, he'll eventually burst into flames. Anyway, I have no idea what article of the village code that thing actually breaks really is. But it's still right. Seriously, you should come and chill at the meadow when you're ready. See you there. Phew. What's this? Goals. What's my goal? Oh, claim. Oh, I got more inspiration for that. Okay. I have 60 inspiration. Pretty. Okay, what, what does she want from us? Right. It's important for you to know how we chill on Amber Isle. When you want to hang, all you do is ask. Oh, okay. Hang out. And now we're hanging out. <laughs> Isn't that easy? Let's go explore and gather some stuff together. Okay. Does she take the stuff that... I... I hope I can keep this. Oh, look, the stuff isn't totally gone. Or, most of the stuff is gone, actually. Oh! Oh, that filled up. Okay. <laughs> this game is really cute. Oh, wow, you gather fast, but it looks like you're having trouble carrying it in those tiny pockets. Well, I sure know a thing or two about carrying a lot of stuff at once. Does that help? <gasps> Pocket size increase! Now look at all that space you have. Trust me, larger pocket pockets are a gal's best friend. This is true. I don't know about you, but I suddenly feel I'm suddenly feeling pooped. Why don't we call it a day? If you want to tell someone to politely buzz off, just do it the same way you ask them to hang out. But for real, it was nice spending time with you. Let's do it again sometime. Oh my god, that's so cute. Alright, return to my shop now. Hmm. It's pretty at night. Oops. Straight up chillin'. Sleep till morning. Okay. Ooh, the music is nice. All right.
right, let's go. I think we're gonna have to turn in Addy's little request. I wonder how much longer the tutorial is. Morning, how's it going? I hope Maple was gentle with you yesterday because we've got some more to learn about shopkeeping today. Oh, are you ready for my favorite part of running a shop? I can practically hear the spreadsheet sing. Stop ranking! Yes, yes, contain your excitement. I'm aware, this is a lot to take in. Oh, shop, not stop, shop ranking. Let's say it's something we can improve on. I think some redecorating is in order. Oh, yes. Redecorating. Edit the shop. How do we? <gasps> New wallpaper? <gasps> My favorite. Okay, okay, let's see. Um, so we need new wallpaper, new flooring, and new lights. Okay, it looks like these are two options right now. These are all unlocked once I get a higher ranking. <gasps> these are really pretty. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, well, let's do this. I don't know what that looks like. It's not so bad. I if I do this, can I just like preview it? Okay, I think I bought it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone now. Okay. So and then I need to change the flooring. Let's change it to this wood floor. Ooh, that's wow. Okay, that looks really good. Okay, and then some new light. I kind of like these though, but okay, we'll do these. <gasps> oh, just kidding. I think that looks better. What a transformation. Fossil looks like a whole new place. <laughs> but that wasn't quite enough to increase Fossil's rank. I know. Why don't we decorate Fossil with some of your crafts? Decorating with your own items is a great way to show off your skills. I'll give you a moment in case you want to craft something new. <gasps> yeah. I don't even... I don't think I even have anything. Anything in the section can be placed out as decor, but remember you can't place decor on display units. That's only for items you want to sell. And keep in mind, as long as your item is out as decor, it cannot be sold either. Okay. Place an item out as decor. Oh, this is the medium, small, and large. Okay, I want to... How do I like take it off of display? Or maybe we can craft something. I kind of like having this by the door. So why don't we craft this and then we'll put it by the door. Okay. Um. There, that's a lot better. <laughs> I couldn't see. How do we rotate? Oh. I think like that. That's good. Oh, plus six. Oh, that's so cute. That's perfect. Okay, exit. <gasps> Shop rank increase. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. I want this one. <gasps> or this one. <laughs> or maybe this oh that's a cool wallet oh is that flooring are these little benches or are these oh these are probably display pieces what what is this look at the window okay i need to change it hold on i want to see now i really wish i could like preview it this is so pretty oh <gasps> i love it I still like the floor the way it is. What is what is this? But these have to be doors. But wait, I thought I got new doors. Oh my god, that's so better. Oh, that's so much better than the sand. What do y'all think? Oh, I love these colors. Yeah, much better. How do I... What about the... Hmm. Is there storage? 
That's custom. Hmm. Oh well, let's keep going. Success, you did it! Fossil is officially rank one. You should start to see more customers in your shop now. Keep increasing your rank and you'll keep getting more and more customers. Not to mention exclusive perks for higher ranked shops. But for now, why don't we open the shop and show off your hard work? Um, if we do that, then we need to make some more stuff. Let's make more baskets. These are selling like hotcakes. Hotcakes. And it seems like the price is like relatively good. Like, it's not that bad. Oh, oops. Okay. There. Oh, perfect. Look at the pencil. <laughs> okay, perfect. All right. I don't know how to get more display things. It did say, it did show it, but maybe I just haven't unlocked it or something. Because I'm still in the tutorial. Do I like that sound? What is this? <gasps> He's so dirty. Improved your shop rank, I see, lass. But increased footfall isn't all fun in games. This display, for instance, dusty. These footprints, dirty. It's disgraceful. Don't you know you're losing tips? That's right, paleo folk will tip you for the pleasure of a nice clean shop. And there's nothing like a grimy environment to put them off hanging around and buying things. Says the one who literally came and made it dirty. <laughs> You'll notice their patience going down if there's mess everywhere and they'll be less likely to buy. Come on, take this and hop to it. Oh, okay. How do I use it? I don't, I don't think I understand. Oh, oh, and then this is, oh, okay, okay. And just like that, fossil squeaky clean again. Hm, it'll do. Let's just see if you can keep it up this way. Um. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this guy is so dirty. Why am I not getting his like little feet? Get out of here. Sir. Oh my God, you're dirty too. Okay, hold on. Um, You wouldn't be by chance making any of these poet tools off me flippers. I'll chuck anything into a soup so I will, but end up tasting like me poop deck. What? Looks like the tables have turned. It's our customer's turn to sell us an item. In order to turn a good product for the shop, it's important to buy the items cheaply. Oh. Okay. But be careful. Got too low and go too low and customers might walk away. As expected, higher offers will make our customers very pleased and you won't end up turning a profit. Not good for running a business. Let's start with a lowball offer and see how Coral reacts. What about this? You think I'm dabbed as a brush? How about this instead? Should be a back and back. Okay. Too many times and they'll walk away. Okay. What about that? Oh, more? Oh, what about that? <laughs> I'm well chapped with that. That's a copper bottom deal. Okay. So I bought it for 666, so I need to sell it for more than that, right? Whoa, my tip jar is so high! Yay! Fossil's getting more popular every day. It looks like we'll need to stock up on more resources again. Lucky for us, I have an exciting wee idea that's going to maximize our exploration efficiency. Meet me in Starfield Meadow and we'll talk more about it. Okay. But wait, where'd all the footprints go? I have 170 inspiration now, so I probably can buy something new. 
the way I would immediately die if someone followed me around with a broom. It would be <laughs> embarrassing. But like, come on. What the heck? If it's very clear that you're leaving footprints, I don't know. I would be like, hey, can you give me a little broom or a mop or something? I'll clean up after myself. Also, where, where are you going? Why are you walking? Why are you walking in dirt? Unless that's what you do for your job, then I guess that makes sense. I'm coming. Where am I going now? Dirty, crabby mayor. That's right. Okay. These things are in the way. Oh, hello. This place is pretty big. And here we are. I was thinking that we could repair that this old bridge. <gasps> this would be great to and from the meadow much quicker, but I think we have to fix it from this side. Why don't you try fixing it up for us? Okay. Repair thy bridge. Oh, I have to pay to do it. I like those bubble sounds. Yes, this looks great. May I be the first to try it? Sure, if you want to. Oh, this seems nice and sturdy to me. I'll go on ahead. Take your time and meet me at Fossil when you're ready. Okay. Oh, I can't do that. Wait, why not? That's the whole point of building the bridge. Oh, I have to, never mind. I have to collect more resources. Okay. Hi, Paige. Thank you for the 96 months. Holy cow. Wait, why am I walking? Oh. Oh, there we go. Um. Okay, so we need more resources. So, might as well chop down as much wood as I can. Because that's like the most thing that I use. It is. It's cute. It's, it's called the Amber Isle. It just came out recently. You create your own little dinosaur and you basically help build up the town of Amber Isle. It's really cute. What's this? Oh. Um, and you also have like a little shop and you can you craft things and you just sell the things you craft to earn money And then you can spend the money at least so far like upgrading the town. I don't know what else you can spend money on just yet But like there's different categories of things you can craft. There's like a chef category a scribe category artisan There's a stylist one too and then you can also like the stuff you build, you can also use it to like decorate your shop and like the shop, depending on how good the shop looks, you'll get like rankings. Like there's like a ranking system and you get things that you unlock. It's cute. <gasps> oh, look, there's an eye cereal. Look at the dinosaur snowman. That's probably another thing we're gonna have to fix. Oh, I'm done. Okay, let me go. Let me go back to. Oh, and you can name. You can name your little dinosaur. How whatever you want. My little care. My little dinosaur's name is Kyl Kylordon. <laughs> and then I named my shop because you can name your shop whatever you want. I named it Fossil. <laughs> Look how cute. You know I haven't like explored that much. Let's explore just a little bit. I know I'm supposed to go back to my shop, but. What do we got over here? This one's empty. And we have to basically like welcome people and make friends with a lot of people so they stay in the island because it's kind of like abandoned right now. <laughs> Snow, ew. <laughs> okay. We already attracted a couple people. All right. How did the gathering go? Lots of new resources, I hope. Mm, I don't think they were new. Seems Fossil is soon going to have trouble displaying all your items. Perhaps it's time to increase our stock capacity. Yes. 
Use a counter to customize. Okay, this is this is what I wanted. Let's see, let's edit. Ah, here it is. If you add more display units, you can have more stock out at once. Perfect. Um Let's do this. This is pretty. Let's put it like right by the window maybe. Like one here, 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 and here. There. It looks like the perfect place to put a display unit. If I remember correctly, according to my copy of Dino's Deals and Dividends, item, items placed in a display window get 25% increase in demand and value. Wow, okay, we need to decorate everything with windows. What? Hi, Theo! It has been a while. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the resub. How have you been? Items placed in display. Okay, uh, why don't you place some items on your window units and let, let's open the shop and see the difference it makes. Okay. Um, alright. There's nothing else. So let's back out and let's craft some things. But wait, how do I... What was my inspiration? I forgot the button for it. Here, I think. Oh no, this is my item list. What was the button for inspiration? T? No, 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 this was to decorate. Mm, maybe... I forgot. Oh, Z, it's Z. Okay, we can, we can make something new. How about we do like one chef item? So we got a carpenter, let's do a chef item. They're all 100. Ooh, a salad. That's good, that's healthy. Oh, and that's good for Nellie because she's an herbivore. Gardener. Okay, these are all too expensive. Same with the musician. Ah, oh, just no, not enough. Oh well, let's let's make let's make it. Okay, let's make um a salad. This looks like toast. Okay, and we're gonna do four baskets. Put them on the window because everybody wants to buy my baskets. And this, and then maybe paper. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, I might have too many baskets. Oh, you've been working a lot over the summer? It seems like it's fall's going to be equally as busy. Oh no, I'm sorry. Hope everything else has been okay though. Hope you're like taking breaks and doing fun things too and it's not just work. Okay, put all the baskets here. And we'll put a salad and this and this. Perfect. All right, let's edit the prices. All right, this one doesn't have a price. This is a good salad. Let's make it medium. That's nice. Yeah, this is good. Paper? No, a little bit higher. Okay. All right, now let's open the shop. Oh, right, I have to clean up after. I'm kind of confused how this works, though. Oh, I think I have to like go right on it. It's kind of really picky. I have to go like right on top. <laughs> oh, okay. I need to I need to answer the customers. Is my order ready? Um, I forgot. <laughs> oops. I thought I had it. Um, oh, oops, my bad. Oops. Too bad I couldn't have, okay. Well, that's all right. Oops. <laughs> I had one job. 
I thought it was just a, a little thing of wood. I didn't know it was planks. Darn it. Yay! How about this? Oh, okay. Don't be silly. Okay. What about nine? Oh god, that's too cheap. What about this? Oh, perfect. Should I clean up before? Oh, oh, okay. I see the, the thing is going a little bit shadow. Okay. Um, all right. What about this? Five. Okay. What about this? Oh, okay. What about that? Okay. Why did the friendship bar not go up? <laughs> you want some paper? There you go. Here, have it for a much more expensive price. <laughs> Wait, he was just here. Then why didn't he tell you in person instead of getting me to do his busy work? That mega loserosaurus is gonna be mega finished when I get my claws on him. You best check your mailbox when you get the chance or you'll never hear the end of it. All right, Maple out. Okay. <sighs> Profit! Does this automatically get cleaned up? Only 50 tips? Oh, it does automatically get. Okay. All right. So I need to go outside and check my mailbox. Mega loser dawn. Night permit. Darn it, I'm so mad I didn't do his thing. Although you don't currently have a permit to open fossil at night, you're still able to explore the meadow. It's quite peaceful at night, in fact. I'm sure that the no no nocturnal paleo folk would agree. Although I'm certainly not one of them. P.S. I would love to join you, but I'm working late. Shred. Oh my god. Talk to Coral. Ahoy, lass. Tell me, you haven't seen a blue Ankylosaurus around. Bit rough around the edges. He's only gone and wandered off, and I can't set sail without him. <laughs> Where did the captains... I Don't worry about it. Don't worry. They're right there. She found them. You couldn't... <laughs> you couldn't be a treasure and keep an eye out, could you? Oh, an eye out. <laughs> Hmm. Ah, la, 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 la. Gathering at night. Oh, they're right there. <gasps> How do I get up there? Um. We have to make a path. It's a new villager. Look how cute. All right, sorry, pal. I'll get out of your way. Just let me get this last bit of ore. You're joking me. That's not what I was after, is it? I've been up here all day and I still haven't found it. It's gotta be perfect. <gasps> He's wearing glasses. Sorry, pal. Name's Chester. His name is Chester. Blacksmith and rock merchant. As if you hadn't worked that out. Hang, hang about. When did it get so dark? What time is it? Oi, you don't know if the boat's left already, do you? All right, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta go. I'll see you around. Oh my god, his name is Chester. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> oh, here's the little fireplace. Okay, enjoy Starful Meadow at night. Return to the plaza when ready. Oh, I like how they don't rush me. 
I feel like I have enough materials to last for a while though, so I'm gonna head back. After I get this. And that rock. Okay, I'm ready. I like that owl sound effect. Okay, sleep until morning. I'm guessing Chester will now be able to buy stuff from our store, from my store. I need to put more options in the store. I feel like I'm selling too many baskets. So nobody's gonna want a basket anymore. I like the wallpaper though. I think I did a good job choosing the wallpaper and the wood floor. Good morning! I thought you'd like to know as early as possible that I have nothing to teach you today. I've taught you all I know. That's not to say that either of us have nothing to do to learn, nothing left to learn. Just that being an intern does have its limits. But sure, we can pick up the rest as we go along. Learn on the job, as they say. Although, I'll definitely need to do some uh, preparatory reading if I'm going to be spontaneous. Anyway, you can... You just get on with making that 20k amber and impressing the mayor. I'll be back this evening to check in on your progress. Break a leg, or rather, smash a sales target. Okay. I'm half... Oh, no, I'm not halfway there. I thought that said 10k for a second. Alright, let's see... Let's make one more salad and one more basket. And then let's um, edit. Let's put this here and a salad. Oh, I don't have anything else. Okay, so let's sell. I only want to, I want to sell stuff that sells for a lot. This sells. Put this up. You should put the salad in the basket. What do you mean? <laughs> Wait, what? I can't put the salad in the basket? I want to have more decoration. But I need more inspiration to do that. Oh, 133! Permanently increase carpenter item desirability. <gasps> a rug! <gasps> that will be good. Ooh, let's make a rug. <gasps> That's a cute rug. How? Oh. Okay, I just want this rug to make it look pretty in here. Like bread bowls with salad baskets could be a novelty item. Okay, let's put the rug right here. Actually, I'm not sure. Hold on. Wait, can I, can't I use it to decorate? I'm so confused. Can I not? I have to sell it? I want to use it though. Here, maybe, maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I need a. What is R? Oh, oops. Ugh. Okay, R was to open. This is a shortcut. Darn it. I'm looking after y'all's dirty footprints. Somebody, oh no, I didn't realize it was that fast. It's so hard to clean. Oh, 
I'm so curious if I should just sell it at their price. Is that the only way it increases their friendship with me? What if I do this? Oh, it didn't do anything with his friendship. I want him to like me, darn it. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> he's buying this. How about this, sir? That's pushing it. Okay, what about, about that? No, pushing it. Okay, what about that? No? Tom, Tom was about to walk right in and I was like, wait, I'm streaming. Okay, so he wants 650. Let's do 680. Okay. This guy's really picky. Alright, whatever. It's clean. Okay, one more. Man, I didn't make a I didn't make a sale. I'm in a rush. I don't have me. How much time do I do I have? Medium item. Okay, medium. I don't know, is this medium? Oh, this is medium. Take a basket. Yeah, I have lots of baskets. Ah, that's exactly what I'm after. Perfect, 4,003. You're too good. You're welcome. Wow, that was a lot. Man, I could have had one more customer if I was a little bit faster at cleaning. Yeah, keep keep it, keep it up. We have four baskets to sell, so maybe we can sell all four. Oh gosh. I wonder if this I don't I don't know how to I don't know how to clean better. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna like immediately take their order. Medium. Okay, here. Here. Medium basket. <laughs> I guess eventually I'll have to sell some small and large items. She ripped you off! Okay, they're, they're being patient. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take the order. This is so in, I hear. What do you mean you hear? I need this nine. Nine. Oh wait, no. That's too high. <laughs> oh no. I didn't mean. <laughs> I didn't mean to make it that high. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> About 11,000. <000. laughs> Worth a shot. <laughs> Promise I didn't do that on purpose. Nice. How many things do I have for sale? Wow, that was easy. I should have charged for more. Um, everyone wants this today. I got this here first. How much? How many, how many did I have? I feel like, what? How many baskets did I have? Oh my gosh, this should be so, this should be 20K. I, my small stuff? I don't think I have anything small. Here, a leaf. Here, what about this? 
Oh, actually that, oh, okay. I forgot I had that. Yay! I don't know how much she bought that for. How much did she buy that for? I bought it for, I bought it for 666, but how much did she buy for? Oh my God, I made 5K. All right, no. We can't keep, oh, we don't have anything in this, oh, 80. We don't have like anything in the shop anymore. Like I, they literally bought me out. Oh my God, I'm at 13. Okay. Four, what is this? Okay, I already made one, but I couldn't put that, I couldn't put that up for sale. I'm just gonna make a ton of this stuff. There, then I just like have a lot. Okay, see like, why can't I, oh! Okay, I can, I, I can only sell it. Really? Wait, no, I don't want that. Okay. <laughs> okay. There. All right, can I open my shop again? Open the shop. I'm in, I'm on a, I'm a sale. Sail, sailing supreme. Sailing mission. Mission to sail everything. I'm gonna walk with you with your dirty feet. Oh my gosh, she had like no patience. Like a stylish plant item? Do you have anything like that? I don't know, a salad? Oh, really? <laughs> Here you go. No? What about this? Okay. My shop ranking's going up. Kind of slowly though. I feel like it'd go up higher if I like actually decorated my store, but. How is salad a plant item? I mean, it's food. I don't, with plant, I don't know. <laughs> oh God. Huh! I need to sprint faster. Oh, I have to immediately press E on this next customer because their bar is really low. There we go. Woo! Caught it. Medium here. Medium. Hi, Zad! Oh my god, it's really cute. It's called Amber Isle. It just recently came out. Hi, how are you today? By the way, estimation mark Amber Isle if you guys would like to get more information about the game. It'll take you to the Steam page. This of you. Oh, he's buying the rug. For you, 955. Don't push your luck. Oh, 855. Okay, what about 835? Oh, he left. Whatever. I don't need his money. Actually, I do. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Buy the rug. <laughs> he left. <gasps> I only had 30 tips. What the heck? If only there were a game where you play as a shopkeeper and you're also a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, if only. Sigh. <laughs> you just got back from working outside on my yard for fall reseeding. Oh, your lawn. Oh, cool. Oh, are we, are we gonna have to donate? Where's Addy? Is he in here? Oh, it looks like I can donate to, to this. Hold on. I don't want to talk to Addy right now. Hold on. I want to... What is this? Ah. To repair this, I need light stone. And then to repair this, I need wood. I only had nine left. 
What about this? Oh, I don't have any, I guess. All right, let's go in. He's probably gonna ask me to repair the building. Oh, in here? What is this place? Oh, there he is. Oh my God, is this his house? Oh my God, who's that? Honk, shoo, me, 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 me. Well, wait, not the binding, not the hole punch down. Mabel! Oh, okay. Oh, okay, thank goodness. It was just a nightmare. What? Ah, what time is it? Sorry, I was meant to come see you, wasn't I? Are you okay? Sai, I'm I'm sorry. I'm just so tired. We may bicker a lot, but because... But being on the island with Maple and Clawsworth is teaching me loads of valuable lessons. There aren't many like those two at Cor Orb Corp, so I'm adding to the management manual on a daily basis. But I'm not blind. I know Maple and Clawsworth don't seem to like Cor Orb Corp, but I just want to help them. Aw. I mean, we all want the same thing to restore Amber Isle to its former glory or even better. And I've got so many ideas. I think that's why Orb Corp sent me here. They actually think I'm good at something. And this is my chance to prove it and earn a sore name that actually feels like me. I know some paleo folk take their family names, but I have eight siblings, so it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like mine, you know? So I'll earn my own name and I'll do it by making a place where everyone feels noticed. Like you've made me feel by coming here. You don't have to say it back, but I feel like we might be becoming friends. Aw, of course we're friends. Well, that's just great to hear. I think you might be the first friend I've made since working for Orb Corp. What about this person? I think I've slept at my desk long enough now. Maybe we should both hit the hay? Also, thank you. It's nice to talk to someone else about all this. Oh, that's kind of sweet. Oh, I guess he was sleeping. <laughs> I know I had the axe. <laughs> Don't worry about it. All right. Well, unfortunately, guys, it is time for me to go. But I think this was a really nice preview of um, this game, Amber Isle. I wonder how to save or if it automatically saves. Um, here, let me sleep. Maybe that's how I save. Yes, a very big thank you to Team 17 and Amber Isle for letting me do this sponsored stream. That was a really fun. I enjoyed this. This game is really cute, and I like the idea of expanding my shop and making it look a lot better than it does now. All right. And I'm so close to hitting this goal. So close. All right, let's quit. I want to make sure that... Oh, okay. Oh, it just goes to the main thing. Awesome! I appreciate you guys coming to my sponsored segment of my stream.